Two minutes! Two minutes into this, buddy! Here he comes! Have you seen Buddy? No! Hey! Mr. Saturday Night! <laughs> buddy Young Jr. Stan! You caught one minute! Oh, jeez. See you later! In 1956, Buddy Young Jr. was the comedian America loved. But he didn't get there overnight. As a young boy in Brooklyn, he knocked him dead in the living room. A few years later, he developed a certain style. Wow, look at you. Your New Jersey in pants. <laughs> Over the years, it served him well. Look at this guy. This is what happens when cousins marry. Huh? And brought him to the top. Your brother. Did you like him? I loved him. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> Wow! She looks a little young, don't you think? What am I, a Redwood? Today, Buddy Young Jr. is still telling the jokes. I'm the kid from the Star Wars with a Bialis on the head. <laughs> look, I, I need you look. You're a giant. You are a legend. You're the comic's comic. You just don't lose it when you got it like that. You still combing your hair with the Exxon Valdez? <laughs> I always thought you should have been bigger. What is that? Oh, that's my album, Disco Joe. <laughs> now it was a big hit. It went zinc. <laughs> he was a natural. I mean, he could do sketches and monologues. He could do everything. I mean, even then, you know, we always worked. We did clubs in Vegas. This guy in a club in front of an audience, forget about it. Is that a toupee? No, well, I, for one, was fooled. <laughs> but he couldn't take the pressure. We're losing this show. They're going to cancel me. But you always stayed with him. He's my brother. Billy Crystal is Buddy Young Jr. And Buddy Young Jr. is Mr. Saturday Night. I want to know what you do. I haven't seen you in months. What do you do down here? I play golf with some friends. You have friends? Yeah, I have friends. They come with the condo. You see, you get cable or friends. I took the friends. Over cable? Paris Filmes apresenta Pierce Brosnan, o novo 007, o detonador em alta voltagem, com Ron Silver e Ben Cross. Well, they say that Senator Victor had a seizure and then boom. Boom. O detonador em alta voltagem. These attacks against members of the Senate come just a week before the revote on the anti-arms bill. No, it is a matter of my ten million dollars. Hmm, what the hell are you talking about? There's absolutely no trace of any kind of explosive or fragments from a detonating device. Keep digging. People don't just explode. O detonador em alta voltagem. There's no trace of a detonating device. No! She took a drink of water, sweat, shook. Move out, Move out! Then, boom. That's it? No. I lived out the park where she swallowed a grenade. I think we both know just how serious I am now. Don't do anything stupid. O detonador em alta voltagem. Pierce Brosnan, o novo 007. Ron Silver, Ben Cross. O detonador em alta voltagem. Mark it, cover mark. Ok, and action. Sete filmes depois, os atores estão reunidos. Os técnicos de efeitos especiais tão duro. Wes Craven está fazendo um novo A Hora do Pesadelo. Mas desta vez, o mundo que ele está criando está se tornando realidade. Fred Krueger volta. Ele quer mais do que vingança. Talvez você me seu sonho. 
Aqueles que acreditavam que Fred morrera. Preparem-se para a história real de Wes Craven. O novo pesadelo. O retorno de Fred Krueger. Discovered a way of bringing back newly killed warriors from the dead. Stronger and almost indestructible. They were programmed to destroy. He had cuts and bruises all over his face and body. But by the time he got back to the Jeep, the wounds were completely healed. On this remote island, scientists thought they had perfected the ultimate killing machines. There's something going on out there. I've got to get inside that compound. I need your help. Now, one reporter is determined to discover the truth. What is your interest in us now? What are you doing here? And two cops have been chosen to be the bait. I want you to meet the most stubborn, clean in the neck Japanese cop this side of the Pacific. You are out of your jurisdiction. Ah, oh, that's right. Fuck your... I want those three killed on sight. No more incompetent. Just terminate. They can try to fight. And there's no way to stop these whatever they are? They can try to run. Gentlemen, you have one chance. You run. We chase. We catch. You lose. But they can't escape. All things considered, you have put up a good fight. Because how can they kill what's already dead? Roddy Piper, Sonny Chiba, Meg Foster, Tiny Lister. Resort to kill. Apresentamos o caminho natural para o seu descanso e lazer. Pousada do Sandy. Deixando o Rio de Janeiro em duas horas, você descortina a Baía da Ilha Grande e volta no tempo na histórica Paraty. Na Pousada do 
Sandy. Desfrute de todo o conforto de um hotel cinco estrelas num estilo único. Suítes, apartamentos, estándar ou de luxo, tudo em agradável harmonia com a arquitetura do século XVIII. Os prazeres de uma cozinha internacional estão no restaurante Chez Catalino. E mais, salão de jogos e de leitura, além de muitos outros ambientes. Desfrute a natureza exuberante, passeios de barco até as ilhas costeiras e caminhadas pelas trilhas da região. Pousada do Sandy em Paraty, Largo do Rosário, número 1. Reservas 0243. 
Where the hell's that doctor? She's ten minutes late. Relax, she'll be here. We're wasting time. I should have kept that blood. I've done this myself. Why is it that every time you take matters into your own hands, you screw things up? You've made enough enemies around here. People don't trust you. Why? Because of Greg's death? I didn't have any time. Stop. You know, you can't go around taking people out just because you feel threatened. Who are you kidding, Miller? You'd have done the same thing yourself. It's about time you got here. Have you finished with your tests? Where did you get this blood? I don't mind where we got it. What's the problem? This. It's an extra chromosome. That means it's not human. Who cares? Is it diseased? You know, there's been a lot of speculation about the origin of this blood. Well, you know better than to um, believe these kinds of rumors, don't you, Doctor? We'll find out eventually. It's your job to tell us if the blood is diseased. Nothing more. Is this all that's left of the blood? Where the hell's the rest of it? That's all we have. There's nothing left for us. I have to warn you. If you should use it on anyone, the body's immune system will treat it like an infection. The subject's blood will putrefy into a pus-like fluid. The body will swell up like a balloon. There'll be vomiting and fever, and the result will be a horrifying death. Well, that's not a very pretty picture, is it, Doctor? I assure you, we are doing nothing out of line. You've dragged your feet on this long enough, Doctor. How long does it take to get an answer? I can't tell you that. I'm going as fast as I can. You'll have to excuse us, Doctor, but we're all under a lot of pressure here. We need an answer. I'll try to get it done by next week. But I can't promise. I'm not waiting another week. Why don't I just take the blood? Because I'm not going to let you. Your hands are tied until she signs off. Nobody ties my hands. I've spent most of my life looking for this blood. I'm not waiting. Now, you're going to follow our game plan, because if you don't, they're going to take a hard look at what we're doing here, and I don't want anyone reviewing us yet. It'll drag both of our careers down. And just so as you know, I'm not going to let that happen. Are you very clear on that? You worry too much, Miller.
Butler? You okay? What are you looking at? Get out of here! Yes, sir. to my eyes. What did you do with the blood? You took it, didn't you? Of course I did. There's nothing left. You took the last of it. Now we'll have lots of blood to work with. Right here. In me. Why, you idiot, you could have died. But I didn't. Did I? Have the doctors look at that. I don't need anybody looking at it. It's working. The blood's changing. My senses are so keen. I can hear Dr. Taylor and Dr. Barnes making fun about our trip to Budapest. Get to the infirmary now. Damn you, Millie, you're not even listening to me. I can hear your heartbeat. It's going a little fast, isn't it? Bit of pat. Bit of pat. Bit of pat. Getting nervous? I don't scare that easily. You stink of fear. I can smell it. Look at you. All your muscles wound up tight. Ready to save your ass. You know what I feel like? Like killing. You're being very stupid, Butler. We still don't understand what we're dealing with here, and you just... I'm taking back what was lost through millions of years of evolution. I'll be a new kind of warrior. Changing shape at will. I'll have the instincts of an animal. And the brain of a man. Terminating this right now. You'll never terminate this project. Watch me. I'm gonna live forever, Miller.
Mr. Butler, you startled me. Are you okay? out of control, Butler. the blood with black hole before they're frozen? No, it's too dangerous. If the bullets get dislodged, all hell will break loose. Mr. Miller? Ah, how's the girl? Uh, she's still sleeping. Good, I'll send a medevac unit down to get her out of here. How are you doing, Dick? I'll survive. I'm uh, sorry you had to see all of this, Dr. Barnes. It's created a lot of problems for us. Unfortunately, you're going to have to surrender all of your records. Everything associated with this program has to be destroyed. You can't destroy all this. We need our records to... I don't have time to argue with you, Dr. Barnes. Please show Agent Berger to your office. When you're through, send her body down to Cryonix with the others. little experiment just gets more and more interesting, doesn't it? I'm sorry, my friend, but you were getting a little out of hand. And this intermission will give us both time to work out the wrinkles, so to speak. <laughs> oh, while you're in there, work on that attitude of yours, buddy.
Yeah. Where are you? You said you'd be here over an hour ago. Oh, you know, I'm right in the middle of something. Have Roger sit in for me. Roger always loses. I do not. I'm playing pool. Besides, I need you here for good luck. Oh, come on, Anna. Take a break and have some fun. Anna, I need you down here. I think I need your money. Guys, I, I have to go. Count me out, all right? I'll talk to you later. He's not coming. Stop chasing that girl and concentrate on the game. Get the message. Deep down, I know she really likes me. <laughs> she sure has a funny way of showing it. I like telling people to take a hike. The only thing that matters to her is that substitute skin. Five card stud, Suicide Kings Wild. Hi. We missed you last night. It was a great game. I was trying to tell you. Larry won fifteen dollars from General Hammond. Oh. He didn't take it too well. You know, he gets when he loses to an NCO. Not especially Larry. Here. Thank you. So how's it going? Well, I started electroplating at 2 this morning. And the lines were used in the tissue room. I increased the oxygen by 3 tenths percent. These first specimens hardened again. This one I'm still waiting on. It's still hard to believe it's made of metal and synthetic tissue. It's been stable for about three hours now. Well, if you can keep it that way, a lot of cancer victims will be very grateful. I don't know what else to do. I think maybe I'm just too close to it. Or... <sighs> well, to add to our problems, we've got to deal with a new so-called expert Washington is sending in. Hmm. I've never heard of him. There's nothing about him in any reference manual. And on top of that, we don't know a thing about his research. All the right reasons for them to send him to work with us. Well, if he can help, then we can move on to animal testing. Think of the burn victims, people with skin cancer. We'd be able to graft whole areas of the body. So Washington has put me in charge of the program, and I am personally responsible for keeping it funded. Ah, sorry. I feel it's time we start human testing. Excuse me, Colonel, that doesn't make sense. We're still having a lot of problems. I know. I've monitored your work for the past five years. I know all of your successes and all of your failures. But I feel you're ready to move on. We still can't control the hardening process. We've never been able to keep it stable. Sometimes it works, but sometimes we end up with skin as hard as steel. Mm -hmm. I'm well aware of that. If that were to happen, it would kill the subject. Which brings up the question of volunteers. Well, we won't be using volunteers. Not in the usual sense. What are you planning on using? Frozen cadavers. Cadavers? Are you nuts? <laughs> the cryonics team at Fort Meade has rehydrated outer skin tissue. They have kept it alive for months on a grid of polyglactic acid. Their work fits perfectly into yours. But how is that going to advance our work? Synthetic tissue is not the same as rehydrated frozen tissue. Mm -hmm. What we're doing here is creating living skin from metal and tissue. I am merging the two programs. All the support, that is, in those uh, folders there, yeah, along with your new orders. What if we say no? Oh, I don't think you want to do that. Why not? Well, because I'll cut your funding. That's outrageous, Colonel. Where do you get off coming down here and disrupting our work? Hmm. Very nice. Look, either you cooperate or I will just simply take your research, give it to all those nice folks at Fort Meade, and they can take all the credit. Well, do I have your cooperation? Yes. Your full cooperation? General? 
Don't have it. I'll deliver the first cadaver sometime next week. Why are you all so glum? You're scientists. Isn't this how you people have fun? Well, Donald, it's time for you to rise from the dead. There have been some unusual developments these past 20 years. These so-called scientists don't even know it, but they're going to give you a skin of steel. What's he saying? He's a little upset. Lo siento mucho, Ramon. Yo no voy a trabajar aquí. Hasta hayan que sido rociados con agua bendita. Do you understand me? Sí. I will not work here until it is sprinkled with holy water. Okay. <laughs> no. Wait a minute. Holy water? How are we going to get hey, that? How do I know? Call a priest, a bishop, have the popes in it, FedEx. I don't cook. Ramon. I go on strike. Ramon, oh. lo siento. That means we're going to be eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches again. I don't blame him. I'd be upset, too. This is ridiculous. Feeling we're getting off to a bad start. I think you've been out of practice with medicine for too long. Have Debbie run a complete pathology test on the tissue and a molecular model of the hair, okay? Okay. Thanks. I don't know where that body came from. What if it was used for germ warfare experiments? Hmm? I mean, the last thing we need is to contract some kind of exotic disease. It has a clean bill of health. It came from the cryonics lab in Langley, Virginia. Germ warfare is done at Plum Island in New York. I'm not lifting a finger until I have all the paperwork. Ah, well, then you're in luck. Because here it is. <laughs> Come on, Colonel. You're going to have to do better than this. This file is inadequate. This cadaver has VIP written all over it. There isn't a clue as to who he is or where he came from. Huh. Well, medically, it's clean. For all I know, it could be somebody else's records. I don't want to work on them. No problem here, Doctor. Except for the one you're creating. I don't like it. It makes me feel uneasy. What are you afraid of? I said I was uneasy. There's a difference. You're putting us under a lot of pressure. Well, you're the expert in freeze-dried tissue. You could do this with your eyes closed. Why don't you start on this one, and I'll see what I can do about getting you a fresher specimen. Please. There's adrenaline in the cells. He died violently. Mm -hmm. It looks like a heart attack. Take a look at this. I analyzed six samples. All of them were consistent. 
Your subject consumed high amounts of raw meat. The striations show high levels of saturated fats, cholesterol, tannin, and sulfites. It looks like he was a very self-indulgent person. What happened to the hair follicles? It went through some sort of molecular disarray just before the subject died. I haven't a clue. Its whole structure was reformed. But I did find something that was interesting. I found a piece of dirt embedded in the hair platelet. I traced this down to silt deposits along the Danube River. Which part? Somewhere near Budapest. And if you think that's interesting, I tried cross-referencing the numbers on his file. I was denied access. That means they do know who he is. Exactly. We can still find out. All you need to do is bring me his fingerprints. I'll run them through the FBI computer. Great. I'll get them right to him. Decision time, Deb. <laughs> you know, personally, I think this Miller guy is doing us a favor. I'm getting a little tired of the same old stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't really care what we use it on. Come on, it's four dollars to you. Mm. Ugh, I fold. Well, Miller's results are impressive, and I can't find an error in his theories, but uh, I still don't like the guy. He's too rich for my blood. Well, I'm up for review. Could mean another star and a raise, so don't start with him. I'll see you in review. It could be exciting. Are you trying to bluff me with that hand? Put your cards on the table. Full house. Jackson tents. Ooh. Royal flesh. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, she beat you. What do you gotta do to win a hand mm. around you? Mine, baby. Yes. <laughs> Obviously, oh, somebody's oh, cheating you. here. Somebody's cheating you. Oh. Thank you, you for playing. Yeah, yeah, that's mine. Beginning resection. Skin tissue removed. Philip, you set? Just a second. Ready with the next section of biofilm. Dipping an acid bath. On site. Position. Roger, what's the body temperature? 54, 54 degrees. Hand me the positive plate, please. 94 volts. Reduce it to 90 so it doesn't harden. That's good. <laughs> what's the difference? He's a stiff. Very good, Larry. You're set at 90. Surgery laser up. Laser's up. I have a positive charge over the graph site. Cauterizing one. Cauterizing two. Roger. Lasers down. Resection complete. If the colonel's plan works, he will cut two years off the program. You will know in four hours. I can't believe we got peanut butter and jelly for lunch. You know, I don't know about you three. But this food situation has gotten way out of hand. 
I didn't think he was serious, but... <laughs> Why don't we just put some water into a bottle and give it to him? I tried that. He busted me. Oh. He busted you? <laughs> but I did try. It's bad enough having Colonel Miller hanging over our shoulder. Yeah, I can't handle that either. That and trying to eat leftovers. Maybe these could have a bad idea. At least we don't have to feed them. There you go again. Always thinking about food. Will you two please stop it? We are trying to concentrate. Calipers? I, I think you better check this out. What's the matter? I'm reading inorganic material on the sternum. It doesn't make any sense. C come take a look. Enhance it. Why didn't you tell me about this before? I just noticed it. Steps. Come on in. This man was shot, folks. This man was executed. What the hell? These bullets look like silver. I'm terminating the experiment. Oh, no. Oh, no, we got another problem. Body temperature's rising. It's up seven degrees. There's a metabolic process. It, it's, it's above room level. Anna, he's starting to bleed. 84 degrees! Shut the pumps. He's still bleeding. I can't be on this one. I'm reading 90 degrees here! and sending us a body with bullets in it. Silver bullets. I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Don't bullshit me, Colonel. That cadaver didn't just fall out of the sky. Well, let's hope not. You know what I mean. Leslie, you know everything that I know about this program. Don't call me Leslie. How can you act so cool about this? The question is, where do we go from here? We are trying to understand what happened. What if he regains consciousness? That's impossible. His brain's been dead for years. Okay, fine, fine, but what if? Then we have no right to experiment on him. It's too late. He's already covered in biofarin. What do we do, take it off? People, may I remind you that technically it doesn't exist? But he does exist. <sighs> well, he has no memory, no identity. Well, it's an it. No, he is a human being, and you're telling us to work on him against his will. What will? Doctor, isn't this what you've always wanted, a living subject? That's immoral, Colonel. Morality has nothing to do with this. Well, then what about these? What about them? The man was shot. Send them to Washington, see what they can come up with. What good is that going to do? Have them traced. And then what? So we'll know what happened. How it died has nothing to do with this. Human being, Colonel. We're talking about a human being in there. Deal with it. And get on with the experiment. Anything else? No, sir. He 
He's a lying son of a bitch. Hi. Hey. I stopped by your apartment, but you weren't there. I just thought you might like to have company. Thanks. The only place I feel comfortable right now. Are you okay? Not really. I'm questioning everything I believe in. It just it upsets me that they're treating us so lightly. You know, maybe everyone's just scared. And they don't want to deal with it. Hey, don't worry. I brought you something to take the edge off. That's not going to help. Hey, it'll help you unwind. I told you about that little girl they brought into emergency, the burn victim. You were interning at Van's and Jenny. She was seven years old. Ninety percent of her body was scorched away. It was horrible. There was no way we could save her. It's just so... Those pretty blue eyes and the way she looked at me. Just before she died. Why are you thinking about that now? When I watched her die, I... I thought, what is it that left her body? Something left when she died. And now I have to think of the other... the other possibility. I don't get it. What if nothing leaves? What if life... is there? Locked in ourselves forever. And it can reassert itself like it did today. Something momentous happened. But I don't know what. Now that you've had time to think things through a bit, I'm sure there's been an attitude adjustment. Things have changed in the last 20 years. 
Yes, you've been on ice for 20 years. But now I have things a little more under control. Oh. 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 I thought you might like to see this. Skin is growing way too fast, and it's getting hard. I mean, I can't even get my needle in. <clears throat> oh, let me try. Hmm. Isn't there another place you could put that? I don't have time to think about it right now. <gasps> I don't know. Colonel Miller has something to do with this. Now, I know I did not hear you say that. It was a fluke. Even you said so. Yes, I did. But after watching him, trying to communicate with him, I'm not so sure. I don't want to hear this. Why didn't you go in and ask him what he was doing? He was alone. Well, could you hear what he was saying? Mm -mm. He was showing him cards or pictures. It looked like he was quizzing him. Like he was trying to jog his memory. I... What about his memory? Colonel Miller. Good morning. Good morning. What's going on? The pens are ready to jump off the chart. That's what's going on. There's brain activity. Are you sure? My machines don't lie, sir. Colonel, this man belongs in a hospital. The biofarin is hardening. <gasps> now, there's a chance he'll regain the use of his brain. If that happens, this whole thing turns into a nightmare. We can't afford to expose the program, Doctor. What if he regains his memory? I thought you said that wouldn't happen. None of this was supposed to happen. Damn! We're not equipped for this. Can't you do something about that? Like what? Oh, Larry. Do we have enough surgical tubing to make a catheter? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll quit before I touch him down there. Let him piss all over the bed. Larry, we have to control the water. Mr. Porter, I suggest you get that to me. Please, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Isn't feeling any pain. If the baselines are correct, yes. Yes, he is a pain. Well, can't you give him a painkiller? I just gave him some Demerol. Roger. Okay, okay. Hold that. FBI. 
FBI has blocked the fingerprint scan. They know who he is. This is what I get when I enter Colonel Miller's name. A fat nothing. It's the same thing. There's too much secrecy surrounding all of this. Will you make me a copy of Miller's security form? You're crazy. Do you know what you're asking? I need to find out who he is. I could be involved in something I shouldn't be doing. I could lose my job. I have to get into that office, Debbie, please. Mm -hmm. Please. <sighs> OK. But can we do it later? You know, someone might walk in. What about tonight? <sighs> Fine. Thank you. Meet me here at 7. Mm -hmm. See you at 7. in a minute. Everyone into the rec room immediately. Uh, I've been patient, Dr. DiCarlo. I can't find her. Where is she? She shouldn't be out there running around with this thing loose. She isn't answering. I, I don't know what's going on. Well, try her again. Now, either your agency is up to something, or you're not dealing with a fool. I suggest that you clean up in here first, and then review your security procedures.
It just scared me. I can change your page, Rev. I'm looking all over for you. This section is quarantined. But what? What is going on? He broke loose and killed Larry. What? Larry's dead. General Hammond wants you to come with me right away. He's dead. Wait, where's, where's Larry? I have to see him. See him later, Doctor. There's nothing you can do. We have to get out of here. It's much too dangerous. But if he hits the fence, he'll be electrocuted. I don't care about the son of a bitch. My priority is the safety of my people, and if I find that bastard first, I will kill him. May I remind you, Leslie, you have neither the right nor the authority to do that. Bullshit. We cleaned up the lab and placed the body in the freezer. Good. Colonel Miller has agreed to accompany you on a tour of the grounds. I want you to start here, go around, and I will join you out front. Yes, sir. Gentlemen. Corporal Turner, I want you to start here. Conduct a search of the building sector by sector. And when you're through, we will meet you out here. Yes, sir. I want you to go to the metal shop. See if he can put together something to knock this thing out of commission. And if he gets loose, I want him dead. No problem. Nothing out here but a full moon. Did you check the south gate? What about across the lake? Over here! It's Corporal Turner, sir. Oh, my God. Go over here, General! Get it? Don't hurt it. You bastard. Anyone that's in here! It's absolutely disgusting. Everything is out of control. Colonel, why don't you pack up and go back to Langley with the rest of those spooks and take this zombie with you? Calm down, General. This biofarron was your invention. All I did was merge the two. What are you doing? It's the same problem we had before. The, the skin is too hard. The only way we can get the needle in. As soon as he's sedated, I want him out of here. I've made arrangements with regional command. I'll have him out of here first thing in the morning. It, it, it's not working. It, it, we've got to try something else. Connect him to the rectifier. Come on. I'll be in my office. Stand by. We're trying to sedate him, Doctor, not kill him. We've tried everything else. We have to take this risk right now. Where are you going? To see Larry. We need you here. I'm going with you. You 
sure you want to see him? I mean, it's really messed up. Okay. Anna, if you need me, I'll be in the lab. What are you doing out here? I'm waiting for you. I don't think we should go in there. What's he doing? Sleeping. But I don't know for how long. I just want to make sure he doesn't wake up. The Bible fairy's covering him so fast, you can see it grow. fighting with Miller to get that thing out of here. You should have listened to my instincts when this would have happened. Anna, it is nobody's fault. We did what we were told. Not one of us thought it would come to this. This isn't supposed to happen. Yeah, well, you look in there and you tell me what you see isn't happening. He's turning into a wolf or some kind of monster. We have to get home. What are you talking about? Moral responsibilities. Do you realize what you're saying? If he gets loose, he'll kill all of us. Look at him. In an hour, he's going to be indestructible. Now, I need you knock him out. Where do I put the needle? Stick it in his eye. It's not going to kill him. When I get back, I'll finish, okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Wait a second. You're not going to leave me here alone, are you? Roger. Roger. Just do it. I need us back at my lab. Just as frightened as you are. Right? I'll inject the son of a bitch. Where are you going? Going to Miller's office to get the silver bullets and the gun. I'll be right back. The silver won't penetrate the bile ferrum. We don't have a lot of choices right now. That's our only chance. I got another idea. You stay cool. I'm getting more silver.
Are you sure this is going to work? No. But melting silver with the metal from the bio fern was our only chance. If this sucker doesn't kill him, nothing will. General Hammond isn't answering any of his pages. Well, we've got to find him before Colonel Miller gets to him. If that thing breaks loose, it'll destroy the entire community. We're going to have to shut the space down. But then we'll be trapped in here with him. He'll kill all of us. We don't have a choice. Ugh. Debbie. What's the code? Come on. Look, I don't want to die, OK? We're running out of time. Now punch in that code while we still have a chance to blow him away. <sighs> All right. Grab those shells and let's go kill this bastard before he kills us. So rough. Sorry. The people in Washington have absolutely no regard for humanity. The hell do you think you are, General? Aren't you a trained killer? My God. He's ripped his throat out. I'm trained to defend my country. I don't know how the system produces scum like you. <laughs> what system? Ah, the old ways don't exist anymore, General. Here I am trying to make your job easier, and all you do is resent me for it. It's just so confusing, isn't it? Bullshit. What about this poor man? What am I supposed to say to his family? Huh? What a waste. Well, I don't think you're going to have to worry about that, General, because you're not going anywhere. Stand up. Oh, 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 don't even think of it. Toss it over here. And your walkie-talkie at my feet. You're not going to get away with this, Colonel. Why don't you hang around here for a while, Leslie? I've got some work to do. Oh, don't wander too far. I hear it's dangerous out there. You son of a bitch!
Well, let's just say he's not jumping for joy. Oh, what are you going to do with that? These shells are the only way we can stop them. Oh, I see. Forget it. No one's going to kill us. Now put the shells down and give me the launch. My dead body. Maybe he got Miller. What do we do now? We gotta get out of here. We gotta get help. This door hasn't been opened in years. Where does it go? I haven't the slightest idea. Can you open it? I might be able to bypass the encryption code. They said this was destroyed by the fire. These chambers are so old, I can't believe they're still. We've been right all these years. These monsters are using us. What are you doing? Getting rid of them. You can't do that. We need that to protect ourselves with. He's right. You know, you surprised me, Doctor. After all of your clinically incisive, brilliant work, to see you so emotionally out of control, why, it just shatters my whole image of you. It's unfortunate you had to stumble upon my little dormitory here. Where's Captain Ferraro? What men will do for love. You know, I've never fully understood the concept of sacrifice. No, Donald, it's, it's okay. It's me.
Ivy. about you Shaken. I'm sorry I couldn't get there sooner but <coughs> I couldn't find you thank God you did we thought you were dead oh, there's biofair in all of you oh, we covered with it let's get out of here and get some help can you make it 
Will you keep the beast away? Mm-hmm.